What's up, everybody? It's Mikhail Casanova, and what I wanted to do today is we got the latest chapter, chapter 364 of the Zerk, the final chapter done by Kintaro Miura, and I wanted to read through it uh, with you guys. I'm looking at the, uh, it's a lot of scanlations are going around, a lot of them are incomplete, and this one right here is a complete scanlation, and I just really wanted to, um, share this with you guys. If you want to read it yourself, I'll leave a link down below, and, um, I, I've gone into this blind, and I want to keep it that way, so let's, uh, Let's check out this chapter. It says, why are you here? Gus says to the Moonlight Boy. Then the boy jumps on his back. He says, oi. Yes, Gus knocks on the door. And it gets perfect timing. Supper is just <gasps> that child picked him up outside. He has a look of annoyance. He's got like a little drop of uh, sweat there. Like annoying sweat. Also here. You picked him up. Ah, there he is. We saw you on my island. Did you swim him? Oh, you're still alive, Shrimpy. Hmm. A stowaway, perhaps. Being on this island means he's really... You're the Flower Storm King, Mr. Stannon, yes? You took that form to watch over us on our journey appearing wherever we went. That's right, you've mentioned that before. Really? Yes, really. And ignoramus like you wouldn't know anything about it. I can understand wanting to associate with these young men, but you really should dress your age, Granny. <laughs> We're embarrassed for you as your friends. Who's a granny? I brought piping hot pumpkin pie. Huh? My, what a cutie. Who might you be? Um, Miss Dannon, do you not? He is not from this island. That's a fail. Uh, don't let it get to you, Shurike. You looked real smug when you came up with that one back on the ship. Aren't you a little Miss Smarty Pants? Gus is still getting annoyed. The boy, the moonlight child, is looking around. Uh, is this your idea of revenge? You're so petty, you blockhead. A blockhead tag team. Um, there a blockhead, here a blockhead, everywhere a blockhead. It's just puck. Uh, Gus uh, takes the kid off his shoulders, says sorry. He puts him right in front of him. Mind taking him? Uh, up to Casca for me? Of course. And there's Casca and uh, the other girl. Uh, Farnese. So, it's uh, Sojiro, Shurike, Moonlight Child, Farnese, and Casca. Casca has a look, that face, like that face of uh, shock. And the boy runs to her. How did you get here? Miss Kase, you remember him? Yes, I remember. The boy who'd come on nights when the moon was full. Nights under the full moon. Yes. On such nights, he suddenly appeared before us on our journey and disappeared before dawn. Clean to our Casca as always. I thought he was the king of elves, that you had taken that form to shock all, uh, to, to, yeah, I thought you had taken that form to take stock of us. It is true I was aware of your expedition, but that was due to a dream oracle delivered by your master Flora. I've also heard of these incidents under the full moon, but yes, that child, your mistake was understandable. He is not like a typical child of man, and the purity of his odd resembles that of a fairy's. That he is able to set foot on this island is proof that he harbors no evil intent. It is the island's fate that has guided him here. The island's fate? 
The island also includes everyone who lives on it. Such as you three, Shurike, Farnese, and Costco. Even Wheat? You yourself are, of course, a sorcerer. Farnese, where's my hand me downs? And Costco is garbed in elven hunting gear. With that, the right making you three inhabitants of the island is complete. But above all, everyone here has taken you in. They took us in. And it was your destiny that led the child to this island. Costco in particular seems to have a strong connection to him. Mm, yeah. I'm being... <laughs> wow, I'm being sucked in. I remember this feeling from somewhere. That's kind of funny. My child's trying to eat uh, Puck. As does he. I wonder if Donna is realizing who the boy is. You know what would be trippy is if they're actually going to have the boy like transform in front of Guts. And Costco. That would be... Okay, Casca's cuddling the boy. They're sleeping. Uh, she has a look on her face. That look is interesting. This look... It's a look of solace... and despair. Morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Morning. Good morning. Uh, worked up a good sweat this morning. Oh. Sup with you. Uh, sup with you. Not, evaporate, not evaporating this morning. Indeed. About that, uh, the flow of time on this island is uh, muddled at best. I brought previously baked bread. Granny's like the neighborhood crazy by, huh? A few days may pass here. While the full moon still hangs in the night sky of the outside world, why not spend some time together? Wouldn't that be nice, Casca? Yeah. So she's happy because she knows that's her son. Yeah, so there they are with the other uh, witches and mages of the island. And they're running around with the boy. playing with the golems. He's just like an ordinary child. So Denon is really curious about him. Hmm. The sprites cannot sense even the slightest inkling of malice in that youth. The elves are far from guarded and are growing quite attached. Let's keep an eye on him for now. They don't trust him. They know something's off. Fishing, and there's a mermaid chick. Ah, uh, Blue Patel's uh, riding on her, and they're cooking together. Uh, it's so peaceful here, quite. It was peaceful here before, but those two have grown really close like a real mother and child. I'm sure him just being here is mending the wounds in Costa's heart. Perhaps one could say that living together under one roof has made us family of sorts. Family. But and cuts over to Cuts training. So Cuts, uh, he's training near a waterfall. He swings his sword. Uh, I don't know if he's thrown it. Okay, it looks like he lost control of it. And it came out of his hands. So his hand is shaking, so he's looking at a fruit. He's going to throw one of his daggers, but it misses. So he stays, still can't do without this guy, huh? So he's relying upon the, um, the berserker armor. So the question now is, is his skills deteriorating as he continues to use the Berserker Army? Is it like absorbing his power 
I mean, I'm, or just observing his life, because before the Berserker army, he could still fight and wield the Dragon uh, Slayer easily, but it seems like he's struggling now. Or his injuries have just been catching up with him. Okay, so he sees uh, the Moonlight Boys within the uh, the armor. Hey, you. Oi, oi. The kid's running. Come here. What's that? You're a knight now? Oh, God. Take that. So he's playing with it, the boy. Jeez. You're really something. This is actually showcasing the change in guts. Like he's playing with his son. He's being. Uh... This is the most at peace we've seen guts in a long time. Like he seems to really be um, legitimately happy. Uh... Oi, run! Snack time, come on out. But he takes the Berserker armor off of him. Tells the boy, go be with him. Then he runs off over there to uh, Casca, uh, the girl in the Sojuro. Guts is hiding away. Being like this feels natural. I remember feeling something nostalgic then. For instance, I met him on that moonlight beach. No, oh, as Elaine, I knew him even before then. Affection. Sorrow. But where? Oh, is she starting to put two and two together that he's actually sharing the body with guts? All the deem- oh. Yo! Yo, she realizes it! I remember feeling something nostalgic then. Ever since I met him on that moonlit beach. No, it's Elaine. I knew him even before then. Affection, sorrow. But where? So she realizes. That's where she knows him from. She wakes up, she looks out the window, sees him with Guts. Guts is looking at the boy. Uh, sure kisses Casca. I had a dream. Under the full moon, I was a child embraced by a nostalgic warmth. Yo, he tr but when I wake from the dream, only a vague sense of longing remains. Yo, he transformed in front of guts. That too will soon disappear. A single tear like morning dew. Yo. Holy fuck. Uh, here's a four. It says, We would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our Berserk readers for your continu continued support. The Berserk Chapter 364 published in this volume is the last work of the late Kentaro Miura. We were able to carry on the manuscript he left behind and published his time. Thanks to the dedicated support of Studio Gaga members who worked on Berserk together with Katara Miura over the years. Also, we are delighted to announce the latest release of the comic book this December. Um, we thank all readers for waiting such a long time, especially in circumstances where information was unclear and ambiguous. This volume also serves as a special memorial to Katara Miura as his last manuscript. We decided to use his ink sketch for the cover, especially this time, hoping to convey to all readers all of his passion, which is so strong and fully perceivable even from the ink sketches. We hope that you will feel the devotion that he put into his work in creating this volume. 
we have grown deeply aware of how big and powerful Berserk was to us. Just like the Guts' mighty iron sword, we are deeply sorry to inform you that there is no information to share about the future of the Berserk series at this time. One thing we can promise you is that as Young Animal, the publisher that has worked with Kitaro Miura on Berserk, our first priority will always be placed on him, what he would think if he were still with us. Last but not least, we have a message for all fans from Japan and overseas. We have read all the letters that you have been sent in with great appreciation. We would like to express our gratitude to you once again for your continuous love and support. Sincerely, Young Animal Editing Department. Um, that's a lot to take in there. Um, this is definitely one of the most powerful, impactful, and I have to admit, I had to hold back some tears. I got a little choked up, um, towards that reveal, seeing Guts and Casca see the Moonlight Child transform into Griffith in front of their eyes. It was emotional because you saw how both Casca and Guts had the opportunity to like bond with the Moonlight Child and to spend time with him, to actually be parents, to coddle him, to play with him, to eat with him, to experience things that essentially you know was stolen from them by Griffith and that that hits on that's that's a deep ass cut that's a deep cut um we're seeing a lot of shades of change within guts um as he stated he's relying upon the the armor the berserker armor because he couldn't wield the dragon slayer uh effectively you know his hands were shaking he couldn't throw his daggers effectively so it's what this is showing is that the passage of time has had a detrimental effect on his on his capability as a warrior his body He's losing his edge. And the reason he's losing his edge is because his desire for revenge is going away. Like with the restoration of Casca, that was his motivating thing for years. Now that she's back, you know, because he wanted to restore her. Now that she's back, you know, in a sense, that anger, that rage, that berserker nature that drove him is fading away so where does it go from here where does he go and I think that's one of the things that Guts is actually thinking in that panel it's like what do I do now because you could tell like he was starting to let go of his hatred of Griffith but then that's going to lead into an instance where when Griffith and him, uh, you know, where he maybe if there's another chapter and they haven't ruled out that there's going to be not be another next chapter, but maybe in the next chapter, he has a moment where he rushes at Griffith to attack. And then Casca stops him because she's in conflict between Griffith and the Moonlight Boy. She has a love-hate relationship for Griffith and loves the boy and they share the same body. And if Gus were to kill the Moonlight Child or to kill Griffith, to kill Griffith, he would kill the Moonlight Child. And I think this is set up an arc where Guts and Casca are going to come and, you know, to come to blows. They're going to, this is going to create a, a rift between them. And maybe this is going to be the motivation needed for Guts to go forward. 
Um, I don't see, if, if this is going to continue, I do not see this being a happy ending in any way. God, that, that was a powerful, powerful chapter. What do you guys think? Um, let me know what you think of chapter 364 in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what your theories are, where you think it's going to go from here. How did this chapter make you feel? You know, um, did you, were you holding back the tears reading it like I was? Or, you know, did that part enrage you with Griffith at the end? Did you feel the weight of heaviness that Casca had? Can you, you know, whatever your thoughts are. Let's get the conversation in the comment section below. If you want to take it further, we got Discord, we got Gilded. Links to those are in the description below. If you enjoyed this read through analysis and breakdown, then consider becoming, you know, subscribe to the channel. You know, uh, like the video, share it. Uh, consider becoming a channel member, Patreon member if you want to support. We got merch. Teespring, T Public. Uh, all that being said, thank y'all for uh, hanging out with me here, and uh, thank you, Mior. Thank you. This this is a beautiful chapter. This is wow. Too sweet. Be believed. See you on the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate your support by those of you who like the videos, who watch and subscribe. And for those of you who are my Patreon supporters, thank you for your continued support because you help make this possible. If you enjoy my work and you'd like to support what we do, we do have Patreon on patreon.com slash Michaela Casanova. We also have coffee as well as subscribe star. So there's various methods if you want to support the work that we do here. We also have channel membership so make sure you check that out that way you get up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes here and first and exclusive content as well and if you enjoy the work that i do and you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel so with that being said Miguel casanova hawaii content creator i hope to see you on the next one if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell and all that being said i'll see you on the next one peace